Hello, this is Lars Hallett with Discover Labyrinths, and I'm at the Vibe Solano Labyrinth here at Grant Mahoney Park in Vallejo, California. It's about half an hour outside of San Francisco, and it's a public park labyrinth. It's a pretty cool project, so I wanted to share a little bit about it. This used to be a uh, public fountain, um, maybe 60 or 70 years ago. That's when the trees were planted in the circle around it. Uh, then the fountain fell into disrepair, and uh, it was turned into a sandbox. So it was a giant concrete ring with sand inside. And then just in the last year, that concrete was taken out and a new slab was poured. And we created here a space for uh, public health and wellness and uh, stress reduction and connecting to yourself and uh, the environment. Now usually labyrinths are created by painting the pattern. Uh, so my first instinct was to just paint a green design on top of the uh, concrete pad. but. I decided later to, because of the surroundings of grass and nature, it seemed better to actually paint the pathway. So instead of painting the lines, I painted the green pathways to uh, reinforce the overall green of the design. The next thing I did was there was an existing uh, access point from the street uh, to the labyrinth. So instead of traditionally beginning the labyrinth here at the entrance, I stretched the entrance all the way to the sidewalk so that uh, people that were walking by on the street and didn't know quite what a labyrinth was, uh, they would be able to see that and um, I stretched the I stretched the entrance all the way out here to the sidewalk uh, so that it would be an invitation for people that maybe weren't familiar with labyrinths to uh, see the labyrinth and be drawn into it. I even created a little uh, sign here that says enter the labyrinth uh, to kind of uh, inspire people to go in and discover the labyrinth for themselves. So this is unusual that the labyrinth kind of enters here on the side and then travels in and around to the entrance. Now you can see there's actually a second entrance which is over here by the park so that if you came from the playground uh, you could then enter uh, off that side as well. The other interesting thing about this labyrinth besides the entrance, the green path, is the uh, center. Um, usually in a medieval labyrinth like this, this is the petite chart design uh, based on the Chart Cathedral labyrinth that goes back 800 years usually the uh, chart rosette would be put in the center. Um, but the city actually didn't have the uh, budget to do a chart rosette, which is expensive and takes an extra day almost to create. So I offered to uh, create this um, sacred geometry pattern in the center, which is related to the rosette in that it's created with concentric circles at the same proportions of the rosette in Chart Cathedral. Um, but it is unique in that it is not the uh, Christian rosette based in the cathedral, but it is actually predates Christianity, again making it more of a secular uh, labyrinth here for a public park setting. So this is the uh, Vibe Solano labyrinth that was created out of funds uh, for public health, uh, for renovation of the parks, and also two local churches. Um, applied for grants from a local Native American casino to uh, put the funds together to create this labyrinth for their community. And I'm really happy with the way it came out. There's room for three benches that will surround the labyrinth and these green concrete pads. And I invite you to come, if you get an experience, to come to Northern California to walk this labyrinth and take the journey yourself.